Are you looking to update your property in Rubbit City? I'm going to give you some of the best do's and don'ts before you do. All right, so definitely don't forget to make sure you check on city code. It's something a lot of people do. If you're doing major updates, you wanna make sure you look into the city code, contact the city, make sure you're following the rules. Even if you're just updating the kitchen, you still need to get a permit. You almost need a permit just to flip a light switch nowadays. If you're looking just to do a straight kitchen replacement, basically just replace what's there, you can get an over-the-counter permit. But when you start moving walls and things that, like that around, then you start needing structural permits and the process can take a little bit longer and be a little bit more complex. So make sure you contact the city to ask them. So let's dive in a little bit more. You definitely wanna prioritize functionality and style, but you don't wanna over-personalize. What's in fashion now might not be in fashion in the next five or 10 years. So make sure you find that balance between what you really like and what you think most people will like or what will still be fashionable in the next five or 10 years. And I mean, no one can read the future, but I think it's a pretty safe bet to say maybe neon yellow is not going to be in fashion in 10 years, but I don't want to put my foot in the mouth. Maybe it will be. <laughs> Always a good idea to pick durable materials that last. Also consider energy efficient upgrades. They're not just good for the planet, but they can be good for your wallet too. So return on investment time. The best place to spend your money is on kitchen and bathrooms. Bathrooms and kitchens can give you sometimes up to 60 to 70% of return on investment or more. It's all about smart investments and enhance your home's value. Removing a wall to open up the floor plan can definitely help. And that can be done sometimes at a minimal cost and give you a really good value on return. You wanna look through different types of material, like man-made quartz is generally really durable, looks really good, and it's cheap. You can get natural quartzite, which is just as durable, looks good, you can get more stylish options, but it can be more expensive. I've worked with a lot of clients helping them improve their property value at minimum cost, and know where some of the best places are and where some of the best vendors are to get some really good materials. If you're thinking about doing something in your place, just DM me below, give me a call, shoot me an email, I'm happy to share with you some information. Don't forget, if you're looking for a property in the area, there's a link in the description below. Did you find this video helpful? Let me know what you think.